Hello, uh, this is a video on how to play uh, the card game Pasca Husu. Pasca Husu is a Finnish card game, and so uh, without further further ado, let's get right into it. What you'll need is a standard uh, 52 card deck. And so uh, that standard 52 card deck is um, uh, basically um, just what you'll need to play this game. That's pretty much it. Um, as well, uh, you can play from anywhere between three to five players. Um, uh, the more players you have, the more enjoyable it typically is. Uh, we're playing with three players in this instance. And so each player will be dealt nine cards from the deck. Six cards face up, as you can see. And then nine cards, and so, sorry, three cards um, face down onto the table, right? So these three cards face down here. The remainder of the cards are placed face down in the middle in a stockpile. And so, in terms of selecting cards, uh, players can select any three cards and set those to the table face up. Uh, the remaining three cards stay in the player's hand. And so, you might be saying, what's the strategy for that? And you'll we'll figure that out. But for now, just to demonstrate, I have three cards. I can. I have six cards in my hand. I set three to the table face up. Uh, the remaining three cards, they stay in my hand. Okay. And so what I'll do is I'll set my six, my six, as well as my nine. Okay. And so now the game will begin. So that's essentially how you start the game off. And now we begin the actual play. So, if the pile in the middle is empty, and notice it is my turn, if the pile in the middle is empty, you can play any card into the pile. So that's what we'll do. We'll play our uh, nine of uh, clubs into the pile there. And so, we can also see the other players' cards that they placed face up. And so, do note that we played our nine of clubs and we got a ten of clubs back. And so we'll talk about that. All right. And so if the pile is empty, you can play any card on the pile. Um, if the pile is not empty, uh, the new cards must be of the same rank or of a higher rank than the previous cards in the pile. And so nine or ten is of the same rank or a higher rank. Or let's let's just go with the jack here. Uh, the jack is of the same rank or a higher rank than the previous card in the pile. And so we'll go ahead and we'll place our jack. So notice how we're getting cards back here. And we'll talk about that. Right, but essentially you place cards on the pile if they are of the same rank or of a higher rank than the uh, previous cards in the pile. Twos can be played on top of any card. Right, as well any card can be played on an empty table. So that includes your two. Right, so just keep in mind that twos are special. And that they can be played on top of any card. Uh, Tens can be played on top of any card. Uh, tens also have an additional bonus in that they clear the stockpile, or sorry, the play pile from the table. And so a new pile would have to start after you play a ten. Uh, do note that the pile is also cleared when four of when a four of a kind is uh, added to the pile. So, if the player cannot or does not want to play cards according to the previous rules outlined here, right? So same rank or higher. Do note that suit does not matter at all in this game. Uh, they must take the entire pile. Players can also take one card from the stock. If that card cannot be played, the entire pile has to be taken. So if you can't play a card, you take a card from the stockpile. If you cannot play that card, then you must pick up the entire play pile. Right, the objective being to get rid of all of your cards. After the player has either played cards or taken the pile, it is the next player's turn. If a player has fewer than three cards in their hand, they must take cards. When a player gets rid of all of their cards after the stockpile has been exhausted, they are out and they do not participate in the game. The first player to go out is the winner. The loser is the last player who has cards left. So, Pasca Husu is quite simple. Right, let's sum it up. You play uh, cards into the middle, and you each player gets dealt nine cards, three face up, uh, the rest they keep in their hand, 
they can then put another three additional cards face up. These cards, um, they're going to um, play when they run out of cards in their hand and when the stockpile is exhausted. So these cards are the last cards you play, the, the six cards that you have on your table. So note how, note how Erpo has a Jack, King, and an Ace. Pekka, uh, well Pekka doesn't have cards that are too good. But since these are your last cards you want to play, and all of your cards, right, when you're playing them, must be either of the same rank or higher than the card in the middle, uh, it is wise to get all of your highest ranking cards here. That way you can essentially guarantee that once you get close to winning, you won't have to pick up any more cards. But the objective is simple. Just play a card of the same rank or higher in the middle. If you cannot, you pick up a card from the stockpile. If after you do so, you still cannot play, then you pick up the entire play pile. The first player is a player to get rid of all of their cards after the stockpile has been exhausted. That literally wraps up how to play Paskahusu, so let us give it a try. Now that the king was played, um, I can play my ace. Now, the three was played. What I'll do is I'll play my five. Right, now the other players played as well, so they played a queen, I can play a queen. A two was played, that's a wild card. So notice, you must keep your hand uh, at, at least three cards um, if there are still cards in the stockpile. After the stockpile exhausts, obviously you will go lower than three cards, but notice how I'm playing a card and then taking a card as well, although the animation is not showing here. So notice that table cards, I can't play them until I've exhausted all other cards. So. Someone had to pick up the pile there because they could not um, play a card. So notice how I picked up all the cards there. Why? Because I could not play a card, or I chose I could, but I chose not to. So now. Notice how this is. Getting. Uh, quite. Uh, it gets into a little bit of a repetitive cycle here. And so these might be hard to see, right, in terms of some of the numbers on the cards, uh, particularly in my hand here. Uh, but just note that, right, if you just look on the card, you can tell that there are five hearts here. Uh, there are eight diamonds here, right, and so this would be an eight. Um, and so notice how I have three eights. I could choose to play all three. So that's what I'll do. I played all three there. Um, do note that I had to pick up the pile there again. Right, and so I could not play a card, and so I had to pick up the pile. So as you can see, it's quite a simple game, right? You just have to match the pile in the middle by the same rank or higher. If you cannot, you draw a card from the stockpile. If, even after you draw a card from the stockpile, you are still unable to play a card of equal or higher rank to the play pile, you must pick up the entire play pile. The first player to win is the player who gets rid of all of their cards. Uh, the cards from the table are not played until you have exhausted the cards in your hand. So, uh, just for the sake of it, what we'll do is we are going to pause the video. We'll come back, we'll go through a quick game here, and then we'll wrap it up. So, what I'll do is I'll put my. Uh, my hand is quite bad. What I'll do is I'll put my highest value cards there. That way I can have them for at the end. So as you can see the stockpile in the middle is decreasing by 3 each time. Because it is, it is not showing that players are picking it up. Uh, but players are indeed. So I picked up a card. It could not be played. And so what, what does that mean? Uh, sorry, it could not be the previous rank. So what does that mean? I had to pick up the entire pile there. So, once again, 
We have two fives. If you have multiple of the same ranking card, you can set them both down. Uh, that is one more thing that I uh, forgot to highlight there. So what we'll do is we'll, we have a two here, we'll play our two. That's a sort of a wild card there. We can play three sixes there. Another two was played, we'll play an eight. We'll play a nine. And so I had to pick up the singular card there, but that's not a big deal. I have to pick up these cards again, right? And so I'm being forced to pick up the cards. Um, because I do not have, I cannot draw from the stockpile. So note that Erpo, right, played the top card from their, um, I guess, two of their hand piles. Note that these cards are still face down, right? I can't play, let's say this is my face up pile here. I can't play this card, right, and then play, um, and then immediately flip up the card underneath. I must play this entire sequence of cards, this entire layer, before I can flip the three cards underneath. You can't just play, you can't say this card is exposed, I can play, uh, I can flip it and see what it is. You have to play all three. In this case, Erpo hasn't played their uh, 10, and so they can still, they are still unable to flip the other two cards. What we'll do here is uh, we'll try to get rid of our threes. So Erpo still has uh, five cards here. Pekka has three of each. So I'll play my ace there. So Erpo has 11. Pekka was the first player out because Pekka lost all of their cards there. And so Pekka is the winner. What we'll do is we'll set both of our aces to the table. Right? I can't flip these cards until... And, and so here's the thing. You have to play these last three cards, right? And this is a bit of the, uh, I guess, risk of the game. You have to play these last three cards face down. Okay, and so let's say you pick up a card, you play it, and you realize that it was... Even if you have a card in here that is of the same rank or higher, but you play the one that is of a lower rank, you have to pick up the cards in the middle. It's a bit risky here. It's it's a bit of random chance, and so notice how I played the five of clubs there. I couldn't even see that I played it, and so I had to pick up uh, all the cards in the middle as a result. So that's just a bit of a gimmick in the game. And so my final position was second place here. I got rid of my card second. Pekka was uh, first place and Erpo was uh, last place. Right, and so as you can see, the game's not too bad. That wraps up how to play Pascahuso. Um, I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.